everyone, I'm Tilly and today I will be showing you how to get this festival inspired look. I absolutely love festival season and I love doing the makeup for it. It's so sad that we can't go to any festivals this year. Woo! So let's get into the video, hope you enjoy! off by grabbing my W7 brow pencil. It comes with a spoolie on one side and a pencil on the other in the shade dark brown. I run that through my brows and then I get my Gimme Brow by Benefit and run that through. And then I grab hairspray and spray it onto the spoolie and just brush the hairs upwards to get that real bushy look. I then grab my clear Benefit brow gel and go through my brows with it. This helps lock them in place all day. And then I grab my P. Louise base and a flat brush and just carve out my brows. The base shade I use is Ruma 01. Then I just pat it in and make sure I've got the perfect blank canvas to start working on. Next I grab my Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival XL Pro Palette with a small packing brush and I get the colour Wasted and just pack it onto the eyelid in a semi-circle. And that P. Louise base that I used before is just going to really help the colours pop. Then I just grab a small fluffy brush and just go over the eyeshadow packs on to make it a little less harsh so it's easier for the next colour to blend into. Then I use the shade Funky from the same palette as earlier and the same packing brush and pack 50% of it onto the eyeshadow and 50% onto the skin. I then use the shade Pep Talk from the same palette and grab a small blending brush from the I Obsessed Morphe brush collection and just blend this out. I love this colour and it's going to make the whole look just pop. Grabbing that same packing brush from earlier, I go into the James Charles palette and use that dark purple shade which I love and just go over the purple again because from blending you tend to lose a lot of the pigmentation. Grabbing a cotton bud and some micellar water, I'm just going to wipe away some of that eyeshadow so my crease is nice and ready to cut. Taking my P. Louise Touch of Frost base and a small packing brush, I just cut the crease with this colour. This is going to help make the pigment really pop in a bit. I usually cut the crease just above my natural crease line because I have quite small eyelids and I don't like it imprinting. Taking that dark purple shade from the James Charles palette, I just work that into the base so we've got a nice clean blend. The brush I'm using to do this is a Spectrum A12 brush and I really recommend this brush for packing on the colours. Taking this teeny tiny Real Techniques brush and the Mermaid's Peaches and Cream pigment, I just pat that on to my face. Having that blue base underneath really helps make this pigment pop. I really, really, really recommend the Peaches and Cream pigments, they're just amazing. Taking a Ted Baker eyeliner, I just do a straight line. I don't really fancy doing a wing, so just stick into that line. And then using a black from the James Charles palette and a tiny brush from the Morphe collection, I just blend that black eyeliner out. Using Banging Blue from the P. Louise Basic Brights collection, I just put that in my waterline and this helps my eyes pop. Then I just take my moisturiser and some liquid highlighter by Barry M and mix that together and just pop that all over my face. This is just going to help me look extra glowy. Taking my L'Oreal True Match Foundations in the shade Honey and Vanilla. Oops, I forgot primer. I can never forget primer. I just blend that in with my fingers until it's nice and smooth. And then taking those foundations, I mix them together to create my perfect shade. I usually like to be a bit more tan than my usual skin tone. And then I just blend that in with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Then I take this really cute tiny beauty blender and just go around my eyebrows and eyes because let's be real, nobody wants to have foundation eyebrows and I feel like with this you can just be a lot more precise than with a big beauty blender. Then I take my Revolution Fast Base Concealer in the shade C1 and just highlight and conceal under my eyes, my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose and my forehead. And then I just blend this in with that same beauty blender as before. Revolution makeup is definitely the one. It's so affordable but so good. 
taking a big powder brush and a revolution translucent powder I just pop that all over my face and then go in with the hula bronzer and a Ted Baker bronzer to contour those cheekbones and um, put a bit on my forehead to make my forehead look a bit smaller, a bit on my jawline, a bit on the nose because we love a bronzed goddess. Taking this small fluffy brush from Real Techniques, I contour my nose to make it look a lot smaller and thinner than it actually is. And then with my brow pencil, I just draw a line and blend that out to give my nose that cute button nose look. I take this W7 blush and put it on my cheeks and forehead and nose just to warm my face up a bit. Time for my favourite part, highlighter, going with the Safe Times Revolution palette and just pop that literally everywhere because I love to be glowing. Then the shade Pink Me from the Be Perfect Cosmetics palette and just use a more compacted brush so it really pops and the highlighter is more pigmented. Then I put that in my inner corners and under my brow bone. Using that lovely blue shade from the James Charles palette, I just use that and blend that out underneath my eye with a small brush. And I do the same with this nice pink colour, just so it ties the eye look together. As you can see, I've done my mascara with the Bad Girl Benefit Mascara, and then I'm just going to pop my Doll Lashes in Style book on with some Duo Glue. These are my favourite lashes, I love the lashes from Doll Beauty. I am an absolute sucker for lashes, I just think they make the whole look come together. Time for lips, I love a nude lip, so to create this I am using a W7 lip liner in this colour rose, and then the MAC lipstick in Honey Love, and then the Soap and Glory Mother Pucker in Nude Star. This lip combination is amazing and perfect for all you nude lip lovers. Time to spice this makeup look up by using this Shrine Pink Aurora Face Gel which is perfect for a festival look. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. I love the Gypsy Shrine. I could just buy the whole of their shop. Then taking this Glue Collection Glam Crystals Gel Liner, I just draw some lines down my face from those jewels. These gel liners are amazing if you want to add a bit of glitter to your look. I also have one in silver which you can see me putting through my brows right now just to add a bit of sparkle to those brows and then putting some more in between the blue lines. And that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching that video. I just went ahead and put my hair up. I added a few more details and all that. But I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Bye! Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for all your support. Bye!